Hi folks, <clears throat> yet another reason to prepare. I give you this information so you can be informed and have an understanding of what is coming your way. So like I said, another reason to prepare. We all know there's a new Cold War, they're calling it Cold War II, and I'm going to give you Putin's five Cold War strategies. This is from Larry Edelson, the or contributors of the uh, Weiss Money and Markets emails that I get. He's talking about his five Cold War strategies. Let's take a look at them. Strategy number one, ramp up military exercises and pump up the propaganda. And here's a, a page I'm talking about. Um, they either are doing a good job of propaganda or they've got some real bullets in their guns this time around. Last time they had fake mil uh, nuclear silos that were empty and so forth. They were they were amazed that when they came over and looked at our stuff that we actually had stuff in it <laughs> pointed at them. Uh, but it says here that there's 15,500 tanks, 27,000, over 27,000 armored fire fighting vehicles, 5,900 plus self-propelled guns, over 3,700 uh, multiple rocket launch systems, uh, 311 ICBMs, 700 fighters and interceptor planes, and 63 submarines. Um, all the while, Putin has been spending on his military. Obama's been cutting ours. Strategy number two, engage in a dangerous game of cat and mouse with NATO. The uh, U.S. Air Force General Philip Breedlove, the Supreme Allied Commander in Europe, says there's been a perilous change in Russia's incursions into European airspace. Basically, um, he's pushing. Putin is pushing. And where is that red line? Now there's another question. The the Russian media said that they uh, disabled um, one of our warships. They just it just it, it was dead in the water, and uh, just by a push of a button, so they say. And that's a little alarming. Now, of course, on this side of the pond, we're not going to hear anything about it. But if they're saying that. Uh, maybe there's a hint of truth to it. Here's what he has to say. Recently, a Russian Su-24 plane flew over the USS Donald Cook as it patrolled the waters of the, in the Black Sea. The unarmed Russian military jet can, carried an electronic device. As the Russian jet approached the American warship, it activated the device. The Russians say that within seconds, the device shut down all radar systems. In information transit missions and control panels on, on board the destroyer as easily as turning off the TV set. The Russian jet then simulated a missile attack against the USS Donald Cook flying over the vessel 12 times before departing. In response to these claims, the Pentagon allow, acknowledges that the Russian plane flew provocatively close to the warship. However, it refuses to say if the Russians disabled the ship. So. Who do you believe? Well, I don't believe our government much anymore, but I don't believe theirs either. Putin's Cold War strategy number three, building an imposing nuclear arms stockpile. And they've been working on uh, an aggressive program to build that up. But the problem with that is this, is can you imagine Iran with a nuclear weapon? Well, they could make it happen very quickly. Putin can do that if he had his way. He's uh, Recently, Russia has signed a nuclear agreement that could give Iran up to eight more civil nuclear reactors. So that's kind of troublesome. Cold War strategy number four. And again, these are all Putin's. Cozy up to China. 
Uh, Putin is intent on establishing alliances and forging economic agreements with various nations, particularly in the wake of the sanctions imposed by the U.S. and allies followed by their Russian military intervention in Ukraine and a annexation of Crimea. There you go. There's going to be more deals that the Russians and Chinese make. I mean, you've, you've seen them in the news, but that's just another thing to watch and as it as it develops now again there's nothing that we can do as individuals it's a macro problem but being aware of the macro problem at least helps you prepare and possibly sidestep an issue okay uh, Putin's Cold War strategy number five use cyber war to cripple the entire US infrastructure folks this is a, a, a really serious issue we've got every seems like every rogue nation poking at us china north korea russia and who knows what whoever else is hacking us and stealing our our information and embedding code that one day maybe they shut everything down kind of like a big emp so folks that's that's something that can happen over in, in a split second not overnight in a split second so, are you ready for the lights to go out? That's a real big question you need to answer. Go to your power box and shut it off for a few days. See how it goes. Well, folks, I'm just trying to keep you informed. And uh, I don't want to scare you, but I want you to be ready. Thanks for looking.